Hello, folks. I'm Dave Lucia, and I'm here with Smack the Quack. And we are here with Day of the Tentacle, an old childhood favorite of mine, an actually good game. I see there's an Atlantis demo there That's in that the list. That's the Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis demo, yes. Oh, okay. So it's, so it's not uh, the Cryo Atlantis. Tragically, no. <laughs> so anyways, it's a lovely day in USAville. Here in USA. Lovely, happy animals. Chirping and singing. And I hope you didn't like those happy animals too much, because... Because oh, oh. <laughs> Well, pollution will do that. You Ooh. Know, I get the feeling that... and everything. I get the feeling this oh. game is pro-environment. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm thirsty. Okay, so I don't think you should drink that. As per usual, uh, I'm coming into this without knowing bad for you. anything about the game that we are nonsense uh, watching. It may okay. me feel great. Smoother, Very quick first thing, this is aggressive. a sequel. The original yeah. game is called Maniac Mansion and it featured these two I tentacles. Feel yes. like I could. I've I've heard that uh, like I could certain versions, if not every version of the uh, Day of the Temple actually allows you to play Maniac Mansion. It does. Like I this could. One. I just didn't do it. Sorry. Ah. Uh. Anyways, so Tentacle Drew Arms, where is your god <laughs> now? <laughs> it's all that contaminated industrial waste. Take on the world. Is he singing? Absolutely. Um, so that was our conflict setup. Uh-huh. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Uh... Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like, we could bite its head off or whatever. You're not Ozzy. Come on. Hands off that hamster. He's just a roadie. Friend of he yours, to be Ozzy. <laughs> He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. That... That is a weird looking hamster. Oh, and they just it's shut the door. It's from my in his old face. friend, Green Tentacle. Absolutely. He says that Purple Tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. Wow, that eye. I was just saying, you know, Laverne is my favorite character in, like, gaming, pretty much. Yeah? yeah. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those Will crazy Will I Edison's find out forever. why that is? But now, Maybe. I know that I must go. You. Back you'll probably just to the mansion. You'll just think that I'm weird when we get to her part, and I like keep telling That's you that she's my favorite. So this is a Lucas Arts adventure game. Um, you would be correct, yes. It is, of course, one of the ones that Tim Schafer is best known for. Absolutely. In fact, I think we're gonna get Tim Schafer's name right away. Oh yay! <laughs> Look at that. Now, this is one of the best intro credit. No, this is the best intro credit sequence in all of gaming. More Tim Schafer. Oh, uh, well. No, you wait for it. I oh. await with bated breath. Yeah. This is right before all the slapstick comes in. Oh, so this is gonna be a slapstick as well. Oh, there is much slapstick in this game. For example, this is Laverne's head. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, that just just reminds me of like old '90s cartoons and stuff. Well, this was an old '90s game, which yeah. wanted to be a cartoon. So there you go. Very clearly. Okay, so yeah, the thing that I like about this is that canonically Bernard is a massive coward, but he's uh -huh. driving the car like this. He's the uh, the one who. Glasses. Is he? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they picked up a passenger. Well, they won't have him much longer. At all. Oh. Oh no. It's okay. The cow is perfectly okay. <laughs> Although That's he's good. not not impressed. Ah, fooey. So we are back in the main Cra mansion, which has been converted. Crash the car in the horizon. Okay, we'll spread out commando stuff. Boy, Laverne? Laverne? Laverne's you can secure the area behind those double there. doors. 
Hoagie, she looks like you take lost. care of upstairs reconnaissance. Is she, uh... I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. Uh, okay. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. She... She I'm definitely not seems a little out there. Later tonight. Oh my gosh. If I'm late, yeah, I don't that get a arms out run. thing is actually her normal walking animation. If I know animation. Dr. Fred, <laughs> he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. So, the question is, is this a, where's his secret are, lab? Are we going to be controlling multiple characters, or are we just going to be this guy? We will be controlling Ooh. multiple characters. Really? Although we start out right. with just this guy. Okay. Hmm, there's something Does funny it, um, about that clock. Change at certain points in the game, or do we uh -huh. like get a free reign passage. over? This how is we all decide? too easy. Once you locate a character again, then you can control them as you desire. Ow. Huh. All right. <laughs> Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? <laughs> Am I upstairs? I got Spoiler lost. Spoiler alert, the only way Seen she any get up tentacles? here yeah, going that way What's was a tentacle? The oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the oh, world. Oh, no. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good so. thing you told us <coughs> that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set the How parade. convenient. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Uh, Did you say Bernard? Yeah, there's some canon going back to the first game there. Okay, all right, free to all go. Right. Thanks, so I'm, Bernard. I, I'm lost, but I'm yes, sure. Yes, uh... thank you, naive human. So Bernard Wait, unleashed now... tentacles. Yeah, weren't they? The they were told that the purple <laughs> tentacle was like Wait. an insane genius. That's so. lampshaded right here. Oh yeah. Now I remember. <laughs> He's incredibly evil, oh. isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. <laughs> True story. Bernardo oh. was in the first game terrified of Green Tentacle. Well, what possible right. harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk tentacle? He likes that uh, now, alliteration. Tentacle is there. Free to use his evil Absolutely. mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity. Whoops. Whoops. Um, Our yeah. only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the this river. This is an excellent line. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Y yeah. Of course. <laughs> That's why I'll have to do it. Yesterday! <laughs> through the time machine! Oh. Yeah, well... Just the time machine, yeah. This is all your fault, Bernard. <laughs> Behold, children! I'm having a hard time disagreeing Dog, that it's Bernard's fault. Bernard. Oh, it's absolutely Bernard's fault. No, you must yeah, chrono all John. go Chronological to increase the John. that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been so hurt like a, in this thing? A time traveling porta potty. Of course. Correct. Not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. I notice that there's probably a reason I labeled this video "Time Traveling Accident Spectacular." <laughs> so. It's of course going to end perfectly fine. Well, I'll be. Yeah, as I'm sure you would have guessed. Nothing will go wrong. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place <laughs> Mom and Dad are always <laughs> talking about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seems about right. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. Nurse Edna, why? <laughs> the scary door. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. I hope that confused you, because it'll we stay confusing for a while. We may not live to see yesterday. Well, I'm yeah. sure yeah. Dr. Well, Fred wouldn't yeah. have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. But is he a mad doctor? I yes, can't yes, he is. believe it! And they said imitation diamond wasn't good oh, enough. Oh, it's not even a real diamond. That's... Oops. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh -oh. And of course, he's just having the time of his life. Obviously, wouldn't you? <laughs> and thunk. Yeah, this... Oh, okay, so this is why we have to 
find the characters again. Yes. Ah, alright. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, it gets even worse than that, don't you Cheap worry. Mail order jewels? What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. You don't say. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. It doesn't work like that. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, wow. he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Where's he gonna find that? Now, where did I put those patented He'll make it himself, super obviously. Plans of mine? Uh, plans? I don't know if that guy is gonna plans? be able to figure out how to make a, a don't patented worry me super with details, battery. Boy. Just I was gonna say you're not giving him enough plans. credits, but I think you actually yeah, are giving him enough credits. <laughs> Now yeah. what am I going to do? In fact, I'm not sure either I think I made of myself the other two characters clear. would be able Step to. One. Find Although land. I suppose the Laverne would probably be able to stumble Step into two. it accidentally. Save yeah. world. Step um, three. actually, like, get out of my house. all three main characters Let's are, like, university students. Bernard's the genius, Laverne's the cloud cuckoo lander who's just really good at yeah. biology, and of, of course. Hoagie is Hoagie. Of course. The band guy. They're very, uh... Maybe I put them upstairs. That <laughs> got to be it. Upstairs! <laughs> See ya! Well, let's go fly and follow them and find them then. Yeah. But, yeah. So, they, they're they, um... all theoretically capable of functioning. Oh, yeah, but they're very, like, they're very you stereotypical kind Dr. of Fred? characters on the surface as well. Yeah, none of them really the break plan, stereotype. The plan. Yeah, you got the you got the the really nerdy guy with the high riding pants and the glasses and the kind of layabout Lander. surfer dude with now, the radical Dr. voice. Fred go? But uh, Laverne actually doesn't really fit stereotypes because she just I don't know how to classify her. Well, she's she's like the quote unquote wacky one. Yeah, but she goes a bit farther than most. Fair enough. All right, so what are we uh, doing now that we have kind of like free reign to explore, it looks like? Uh, we're looking for the plans so that we can save the world. I'm just doing uh -huh. this because I was following Dr. Fred, but now he's vanished. Well, yeah, of course. Thankfully, I know exactly where the plans are. They're on the to-do list downstairs. <laughs> so he went upstairs for no good reason. Yeah, he totally forgot about his own to-do list. Well, I mean, when you're a mad scientist, you don't have enough it's time Dr. to It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! Yeah, I, I wish we had these in oh. real life. Quick. And we he just reappears right back downstairs. How did you get over yeah. there? <laughs> yeah! The game does lampshade itself, at least. <laughs> <laughs> My ingenious super I'm, battery I'm gonna feel very is. inadequate if it keeps pointing out the things that I point out right after I say them. You really flushed them. Well, at least you didn't yes. say that one. Down the toilet. No, through time. <laughs> Using the highly sophisticated I'm, I'm, I'm storing up all of my pun energy. As evidenced by the fact that I didn't say punnergy. But you just... Okay. Shh. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? <laughs> No. Let's see if what's his name catches on. This line, though. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. Okay. Come over here. 
It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? Yeah. <laughs> I want you to pick up those plans you see I... in the chronogon, Hoagie. Yeah. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great. Oh, no. <laughs> great, great, great grandfather. So... His He'll voice can travel through time as well. You huh? need the plans to yeah. make a super battery He's, so you can plug in your hole. The is a hole through time. Okay, if you say so. One that only Bernard that's, can fit through, apparently. Good boy. That's highly convenient. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly yeah, through his see? head exactly. without batting an eye. <laughs> Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. Now, off the top of your head, since you're like American, when was the Constitution signed? Uh, 1776. Croutons, lettuce, that... and vinegar. Awesome. And oil. That... It's the battery plans I'm oh, supposed man. to give man, that it's red been years since dude. I took a history class. Okay, so this takes. So the game is proper takes place in, I guess, 1976. It's uh, we yeah, we went we went two hundred years mister. back in the past. Franklin, Ben Franklin, uh, soon to be known as the inventor of electricity. Uh, do you know Red Edison? He's a science oh, so guy this is too. Be Thomas Edison. Red Edison? No, Red Edison. He's just an innkeeper totally who pretends different to be a scientist. Yeah, because we have uh, Fred and his wife Edna. And, doing either one. Uh, Doc I can't Red believe Washington and Jefferson took him Ed in of all places to write our constitution. And in the future we're gonna have Zed and Zedna. You know, it's all Shouldn't Ed's. you say the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe <laughs> is just under some rock <laughs> waiting to be discovered? Yes. Ha! I, Ben Franklin, I'm going to summon power from the sky by sheer force of genius. That's how it works, right? Yeah. Okay, I normally don't follow like the well, optional I use a little power lines myself like, throughout the game machine. because it take way too long. There right. But power I follow this one because I love it too much. There aren't any time machines yet well, anyway. I'm... That's next Not summer's to project. Not spoil future events. But uh, I'm How exactly are you totally going that through all of the dialogue in Beneath using the Steel Using one of sky, my newest so. inventions. Okay. <laughs> I like That's to okay. Call There's it the less of it there than there is here. Yeah. That's a kite, Ben. They've been around for thousands of years. Thousands. Oh, sure, as toys. But this one is a letter to the gods. It, oh, because it's got a piece it of paper says, on it too. Dear Thor, no, that's just a pocket. one drop of your mighty yeah. juice in the hands of a genius yeah, like a me could yeah. illuminate the entire world. <laughs> Love, Ben. I hope you wrote it in Swedish <laughs> so Thor can read it. Those moments of clarity. Or were those guys Norwegian? <laughs> or were those guys Norwegian? I was speaking figuratively. Uh, what actually is happening is that I'm waiting for lightning to strike my kite. Aren't you afraid that you're going to get shocked? Well, this is the line I've followed for a while. And then the electricity charges the kite. And then what? <laughs> oh. Then the electricity travels down the string. <laughs> yeah. And then what? Yeah. <laughs> it charges me, of course. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then what? I glow with its all. Yeah, I, I don't think that's how it works. And then what? I use its power to make the world a better place. <laughs> that is how it works, right? And then what? Yeah, you well, know, when you get shocked by lightning, it, it's like those radioactive spider bites and, and chemical spills and everything. And then you get what? superpowers, right? I have all yeah, annoying except he'd do like this. You locked up. And then what? Shocked. <laughs> Oh, I see. <laughs> I like how it switched out the uh, well, I'm going dialogue to back on away me. now, just right. in case. Carry on. Oh boy. Okay. So, so he doesn't care. He doesn't care about getting zapped by lightning. This, it's he thinks it's going to give him superpowers. Yeah, pretty much. All right. That's Ben Franklin in real life, right? Uh. Oh look, a letterbox. Yeah, probably. It's closed. I like. I love this. I wish this was today. Ooh, the Pony Express. Ow. Nice. Nice pun. 
there. It's not a pun, it's just an exaggeration of reality. It's a, it's a visual pun. Mm. So this is the mansion again. Yeah, but this is in 1770-whatever. Yeah. Hey. And, what uh, is it? the to-do list says do's. Yeah. You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. And you look exactly Perhaps like Perhaps you've seen my picture great, in some great, important great, 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 scientific great, 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 journal. Great, 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 grandson. Then again, yeah. maybe not. Oh, uh, wait until you see Dr. Fred's you know great, 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 great grandson, Zed. Franklin? It's the same. <laughs> I would never now, associate with that overstuffed that, goofball. Given how old they the look, idea I find it a little hard to believe that there are blue. that many generations in between. Because it's what just 200 doing? years. Like, well, I'm to be fair, present-day uh, like Ed, the son, weird Ed Edison, is like in his what 30s. Are you inventing? Yeah. And the two it's sons a here are like in fastening mechanism 30s. based on circular geometry. So, I don't... Still, like, what are you inventing? You that's a lot 50. of gen. That's so that's a lot of generations in between. Fastening mechanism based on circular for, geometry. For just two hundred years. I'm certain Tim well, Schafer counted. Well, see you later. Well, you yeah. might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Oh, burn. Hmm, <clears throat> super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I <laughs> amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. You know. Yeah, it's stuff, a salad stuff you can battery. Pick, hey, stuff, stuff you can pick up at the convenience store. Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Now, if only uh, we had a convenience store at this day and age. Say, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a <laughs> left-handed son. Oh, well. I could use a left-handed hammer. It just looks like a regular hammer to me, but then I'm no scientist. It's covered with plans and junk. So I notice that he's always walking with his hands in his pockets. Absolutely. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? <laughs> Please, oh, this is yeah, serious come business. On. You're right. Come Dang on, it. Geez. All of this could have been avoided. You know that the best presidents are not actually humans. Well, to be fair, Brazil had a chimp run for uh, president once, or prime minister, whatever. It was the Anarchy Party. So was this the game, the the thing that spawned the I bet it calls uh, reptilian the just like on TV. Theories? Um, the tentacles are a bit slimier than that. Here I am. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. George sleeps here. Oh, George in Washington. Hmm. Hey, lady. <coughs> yes, Mr. Washington. She thinks My you're name's George not Washington. Washington. It's Hoagie. Of course. <laughs> That's funny, you don't... Mr. Washington. Imagine right. being named after a sandwich. <laughs> no, really. I'm not Washington. You know, the, the, the weird thing is you're that I George imagine a lot Washington. of people Occupation don't actually father. know that. Uh, says so in the Hoagie. register. <clears throat> This Hoagie is another name room. for like a sandwich. Well, you certainly messed it up, as though it were. Well, it's no use trying to fool me, so. Mr. Washington. We'll to yeah, with. it's well, it's kind of interesting Don't too. Do you because, have any cleaning uh, supplies? Particularly locally in my like area, most meds, I we keep them on have not only hoagies and sandwich sandwiches, but we also have I'll grinders. I'll let you back to your work. Um, which yes, is it's exactly the same done. thing, but right. a lot of people, a lot of people in other places. Just have never heard that term. I've never heard that for. One. Yeah, they've never heard it used for a sandwich before. Oh, it's, ha! It's, Get away I mean, from I, that. I suppose it kind of. It's a good is thing I finished there quickly. But I don't. I don't now see how it's any weirder than hoagies are. They just don't make founding fathers huh. like they used to. Well, okay, so Maid chases out of the room as out of off her car as we try to take the soap. Yeah. So and the reason is because she finished quickly, so we'll have to make her take longer. Of course. That's easy. <laughs> so we're gonna mess up the room? Well, the bed. It's enough. Oh. Here oh, I am, right. don't get your curls in and open. I I've also noticed that there Excuse is a mummy me, Mr. Washington. standing behind the reception Boy, what desk. A mess. There's also one in the front yard in the present and in the seventies museum room in the future. 
Spoiler. <laughs> is it the same mummy? Yes, it is dead time? cousin Ted. Yes, his name is Ted. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Is this Betsy Ross? Hey, chill. Take your time. Yes. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I like how I'm not given an option to say I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I've got another design change for the flag. Don't ruin history. Uh, Come on. What's the current oh, brainstorm from no our idea. fickle founding fathers? So I did not actually know that there was time traveling in this game. Well, now we you need do. a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. And allows this to happen. <laughs> oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. <laughs> oh. Put the pattern no. on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this now, job. Now, does this, does this actually get referenced later in the game? Oh, absolutely. This is part Stars of... And stripes, this is part of accessing dull, the burn. Dull, dull. Uh -huh. and hey, is don't it, does criticize the, uh, unless you got a better idea. change depending on, like, what you choose? Well, yes. What would give you that idea, though? I don't know. Yeah, I, did, I, I didn't actually see, see what uh, the different options were there. Well, no, it doesn't hey, matter because the thing the you say doesn't matter. It's it like, like basically broad axe, go on fire, stuff like that. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. <laughs> but yeah, we have to put something on that table. Chateau to de Chico, uh, make it, make 1775. That wine is from 1775. So I might actually be close, and I might not look like uh, a complete idiot horsey. to the entire internet. Oh, well, don't keep drawing that. attention to it. <laughs> oh, Too late. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. All that flapping gums, though. I didn't think though. horses could yeah. talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole well, life? Well, are you surprised? I don't want to put it that way. I, just, I, I love oh, that I guy's sad. voice. Nice tea. I don't want horses to snub me either. <laughs> I oh gosh. Quite a bit for him. <laughs> What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Is it really that nice though? Hey, I live here. It's kind of what are you doing sardonic. here? Sardonic. Yeah. To be fair, so's the best of the internet, so I'm sure they'll love the horse. <laughs> Did I mention how great your teeth look? I'm trying yeah, to get back did. to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his name. <laughs> well, I mean, look at his clothes. Well, I gotta though. go. Like, see you later. He certainly doesn't look like a contemporary, you know, person from 1700s. Yeah. Like those guys. Question is, which one's <laughs> Duff and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? No. Even our dear father can't tell us apart. Oh. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Oh, that's okay. His... his... Far ancestors. Do. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask. Are you the marble delivery man? Uh, sure. Or the model? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm no. Yeah, we could offer to take our clothes off. Rock yes. Is my life. <laughs> Does it actually go through with that? No. All right. He just says why. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing, where you're from. Where exactly did you yeah, come from? Yeah, what would they consider to be rock back in the 1700s? What he's I live off campus with Bernard and Laverne. <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> How nice for you. They have... How nice for Bernard. Classical... I'm sure How some nice classical composers are probably considered, nice like, everybody. The, the equivalent well, of actually, rock they never for the time. Play my music very like loud. this music? Yes, of course. Yeah. Well, goodbye. <laughs> Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Pansies. Anyways, so now we're going to torture a cat. All right, paint. Are not we going to throw paint, the though. paint? We are not going to use the paint on the cat yet. Okay. What a pretty pussy cat. Shh. Cats dig these. 
<laughs> you I... Wow, that is a very, like, high-strung cat there. It doesn't want us near its mouse. Very Spartan. I mean... Oh, oh my ears. <laughs> Dang it! So, do we, Yo, I... so, so we have to get the mouse from the cat. Absolutely. And did... Very... Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately this this match just doesn't squeak. So, right. if we wanted to get it further, we're going to have to... Yeah, move, use mattress, place on other Where mattresses, am I put it? use squeaky mattress uh. on Jed's bed. Uh. Huh? What's going on up there? I like the- Sounds like the cat's caught a moose there. I like the there. subtitles. Absolutely, there was- uh, the, those subtitles are there even if you don't have subtitles on like I do right now. Yeah. And success. That's and not really torturing we... the mouse though. You mean the cat? Or the yeah, the cat. Well he's just gonna sit there for the rest of the game, like what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sound effect though. <laughs> The bowl of jello. It's blocked off with somebody's bed. Uh, Who did that? Hmm. Anyways, yeah. Know. We'll continue it on down the chimney next video.